Welcome to National Defense Institute Gindi. In this video, we will talk about how to prepare NDA mathematics. We will talk about a strategy plan. Okay, shall we start? Then, in this NDA max, there are two papers. First paper is completely a max paper. And the second paper is, which is a general aptitude test paper. First paper, max on the first paper, we will talk about two and a half hours. Which is two and a half hours timing. Of hours timing and then your total marks for the maximum marks is nothing but 300 marks for the mathematics paper then the gap paper is nothing but the same timing two and a half hours but the mark is 600 marks so then once you can pass the subject paper means we will move on to the ssb test that ssb test is nothing but 900 marks okay From the next one, NDA Mathematics Syllabus. In the NDA Mathematics Syllabus, there are 8 chapters. The first chapter is Algebra. Second chapter is Matrices and Determinants. And the third chapter is nothing but Trigonometry. Fourth chapter is Analytical Geometry and Two-Dimensional and Three-Dimensional. Then Differential Calculus. And the sixth chapter is Integral Calculus and Differential Equation. Seventh chapter is Vector Algebra. And the eighth chapter is Statistics and Probability. These are the 8 chapters. In the 8 chapters, we will see the syllabus in the end of the chapters. Maths will be able to do it. Then, see, this is complete. There are many weightages. Subject, how many weightages are you going to get? The first one is matrices and determinants. Matrices and determinants are the weightage as well as. All of them choose a chapter. Because matrices and determinants are very easy to choose a chapter as well as mathematical as well as non-mathematical background. Rend pair may prepare pan on your chapter number to now matrices and determinants. Then the next one is statistics and probability. Statistics and probability will be cut off clear pandrathum will be very helpful on a chapter. So statistics and probability path now will be cut off clear pandrathum will be easy on a chapter. Then algebra. Algebra most weighted chapter because algebra will be 25 to 30 questions very good nearby our room. At the same time, algebra is one of the subtopics. And the subtopics we have to cover in the subtopics, definitely algebra is 25 questions so you can able to attend. And then vector algebra. Vector algebra is the more complicated chapter. It is a little complicated chapter but the easiest chapter. The mathematical background students are the easiest chapter. But the non-mathematical background students are a little tough chapter. But the weightage is a little less than that. So I am going to be meritless. If you want to clear the exam, you can clear the exam. The vector algebra chapter is not necessary. Then, just move on to the analytical geometry chapter. Analytical geometry chapter, either 2D and 3D. That is, analytical geometry 2D and 3D. If you want to concentrate on this, maximum 12 standard CBS, you have 2D and 3D. If you want to concentrate on this, you can clear the maximum in this chapter. Then, differential and integral calculus. Differential as well as integral calculus. This is differential calculus. One of the very, very important chapter. Because, we have to ask you about 25 questions. If you want to be equal to the satisfaction of the differential calculus chapter, if you want to be equal to the chapter, satisfy the satisfaction. Then, integral calculus. In the integral calculus chapter, that is a differential equations. Integral calculus as well as differential equation. So, integral calculus chapter for the same 12 standard CBSC R.D. Sharma book and or IGCSC book that is Agarwal book. If you follow the two questions, you can follow the integral calculus easy on the questions at the same time. At the same time, the question paper level questions you can easily sort out. Then the next one is trigonometry. Trigonometry is even mathematical background for students. It is a lot of custom, but actually it is a lot of tough. If you look at questions, you can do complete formulas based on it. Trigonometry is a formula. If you learn trigonometry, you can help in health. You can help in 
integral calculus as well as differential equations rendu chapter ku me ungalku helpful ah irukum neenga trigonometry formulas ah padichitinga na okay then this one is nothing but then this one is nothing but for the pie chart pie chart vandu endha question ku vandu easy ah namalukku irukku then endha chapters ku adhiga weightage ivarukku examination la vandirukku abbingra oru chinna pie chart dhaan okay in the next one is phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 in the phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 edukaga irukku abbin paathina in the phase 1 vandu enna na chapters nu paarenga first that is matrices and determinants statistics and probability and then algebra இது மூணுமே யாருக்கான சாப்டர் அப்படின்னா எஸ்பெஷலி நான் மேத்தமெட்டிக்கல் பேக்ரவுண்ட் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ்க்கான சாப்டர் இந்த மேட்ரிசஸ் அண்ட் டிடர்மினன்ஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் அண்ட் ப்ராபிலிட்டி அண்ட் தென் அல்ஜீப்ரா இந்த அல்ஜீப்ரால மட்டும் உங்களுக்கு நிறைய சப் டாபிக்ஸ் இருக்கும் தட் இஸ் ஒரு நைன் சப் டாபிக்ஸ் கிட்ட இருக்கும் பட் ஸ்டாட்டிஸ்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் ப்ராபிலிட்டி பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ரெண்டு தான் ஒன்னு ஸ்டாட்டிஸ்டிக்ஸ் இன்னொன்னு ப்ராபிலிட்டி தென் மேட்ரிசஸ் அண்ட் டிடர்மினன்ஸ்லயும் சேம் ரெண்டு தான் இருக்கும் ஒன்னு மேட்ரிசஸ் டாபிக் இன்னொன்னு டிடர்மினன்ஸ் டாபிக் இப்ப கட் ஆஃப் மட்டும் எனக்கு கிளியர் பண்ணா போதும் I can able to attend 35 to 40 questions of being sold wrong matrices and determinants start and probability and then algebra in the three chapters matum e eduthale podum definitely nda oda cut off ungala clear panna mudiyum okay then the next one is phase 2 phase 2 is nothing but vector algebra and analytical geometry see edukaga phase 2 la vector algebra and analytical geometry irukna analytical geometry la iruka oru sila chapters ku vector algebra thevadu for example direction ratios direction cosines idha pathila enga padipom appadina adhigama vector algebra la padipom adhe cases da ungalku analytical geometry la ingiyume apply aagum so adanalai better indha chapter ah choose pandravanga vector algebra va mudichittu analytical geometry eduthinga na better ah irukum then the next phase 3 is nothing but differential calculus integral calculus and then trigonometry see differential calculus is one of the weightage chapter from the mathematical background students as well as non mathematical background students then integral calculus integral calculus and normally ellarume potu paapom sums but exam la varumbodhu and sums touch panuvoma nu ketta illa because exam la konja hard ah than questions irukum integral calculus porukka alavukku so non mathematical background idu choose pandringa appadina konja extra effort neenga podra maari irukum adukku better neenga idha vandu avoid pandrathu nalladhu non mathematical background student mathematical background student you already know what do you mean by integral but mathematical non mathematical students vandu non mathematical student integral calculus pathi ungalku edhum theriyadhu but mathematical student vandu already what do you mean by integrals abindratha padichittu vandirpinga so avanga indha chapter pick panninga na ungalku konjam worth ah irukum and then the next one is trigonometry trigonometry chapter nareya per venave vena abdin solli கம்ப்ளீட்டா நெக்லெக்ட் பண்ண பண்றீங்க அப்படி பண்ண கூடாது அதுலயும் ஒரு சில சின்ன சின்ன சப் டாபிக்ஸ் எல்லாம் இருக்கு லைக் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் ஆஃப் ட்ரைங்கிள்ஸ் எல்லாம் ரொம்ப ஈஸியான டாபிக்ஸ் அதுக்கு வந்து நீங்க ஃபார்முலா மட்டும் கவர் பண்ணாலே போதும் இந்த சாப்டர்ல இருக்க கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அட்லீஸ்ட் யூ கேன் ஏபிள் டு அட்டன் ஃபைவ் டு செவன் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அதை அட்டன் பண்ணாலே டெஃபினட்டா உங்களோட கட் ஆஃப் ரீச் பண்றதுக்கு ரொம்ப ஹெல்ப்ஃபுல்லா இருக்கும் அது எல்லாம் ஃபைனல் ஒன் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் என்டியோட சிலபஸ் என்ன முதல்ல எத்தனை சாப்டர்ஸ் இருக்கு அதை எப்படி ப்ரிப்பரேஷன் பண்ணுங்கிற ஃபர்ஸ்ட் தெரிஞ்சிருக்கணும் உங்களுக்கு so that is syllabus syllabus is must in the exam padikkumnaalum syllabus ungalku correct ah familiar ah therinjirukonum and then you have to practice the pyq questions pyq questions are definite ah adut adut varapora exam ungalku exam la vara questions ah ungalku clear ah explain panni kudukkom at the same time pyq question for example oru question paper la oru chapter lende ungalku different ah oru 10 questions irukku appadina neenga oru 20 questions solve pannale podum 200 for different types of questions ungala solve panna mudiyum definitely adu ungala final exam ku ungalku romba be useful ah irukum at the same time practice pyq questions just a question paper matta vechi podama adha vera edavadhu practice panni paakanga like statement based question ah irukatum illa vera edavadhu books reference neenga eduthukada irundhal irukatum ellathiyume practice panni paakanga practice is the must not only for nd examination endha oru preparation of examination ku பிராக்டிஸ் வந்து ரொம்ப மஸ்டா இருக்கு இன்னும் என்ஏ சிலபஸ் பத்தி உங்களுக்கு வேற ஏதாவது தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் அப்படின்னா இந்த ஸ்கிரீன்ல தெரியும் நம்பருக்கு கால் பண்ணுங்க ஆர் எல்ஸ்